Well, it is uh, 14 hours and 12 minutes into Thursday, December 3rd. And we are doing Vlogmas. This is going to be the third day of Vlogmas, but uh, I didn't vlog the first... I didn't mention... I vlogged the first two days of Vlogmas, but I didn't mention it. <laughs> uh, you're going to be seeing this a little late, but uh, better late than never. And for those of you who love Christmas... This Vlogmas is going to be longer than others. Why? Well, because... Well, you only have... Oh... Uh, till December 25th for Christmas, so-called. And I say so-called because there are two Christmases. There is a Western Christmas uh, from for Europe, and there is an Eastern Chris Christmas for uh, the Eastern part of the world. Uh, uh, although the Eastern uh, Christmas is not that well known. Although it should be because it's a uh, it's a uh, George uh, it's George Washington's birth uh, Christmas. George Washington, when he celebrated Christmas, it would have fallen it, it went on it would fall on the current date of December uh, January seventh. See what happens? There was a shift in the calendar, and uh, George under George Washington, the United States was still under a what called a astronomical calendar. Uh, it didn't switch over till till maybe uh, a couple of years after George Washington. Uh, you had to move from an astronomical calendar to a solar calendar. Uh, the calendar we follow currently is a solar calendar. It has no reference to the background stars or anything like that and th th that make an astronomical calendar an astron astronomical calendar. And this is why uh, the satellites use something called Julian date, which is based on the, well the Julian calendar because the Julian calendar, lo and behold, was an astronomical calendar. It was based. It, it, it actually came from Alexandria, Egypt, and it's accurate enough that you can actually map where the stars are because the stars don't tell you. Ironically <laughs> enough. Our measure of time isn't actually a measure of time. It's a measure of angular, angular space. It's degrees, minutes, seconds. Uh, if you ever wonder why some of these some of these degrees afterwards have minutes and seconds, because you can also use hours in place of degrees. And so it's based on something known as circular mathematics. And circular mathematics, for those of you who are into this type of thing, are, is a form of Sumerian mathematics. It's an ancient form of mathematics that it was dropped in favor of the uh, base 10 mathematics. That's accounting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's your base 10. That's the one we use today. But it is not was not the only mathematical system. And so, as a result... Uh, when you switch calendars from an astronomical calendar to the solar calendar, a discrepancy is introduced. A difference is introduced. And so December 25th on the astronomical calendar becomes um, January 7th on the solar. But uh, the Roman Catholic Church in its infinite wisdom, uh, who titled themselves to be God, on earth, well, it took the place of God. They actually just simply took the Sorry, God. Sorry, Jesus. Uh, we're taking your place and uh, have a nice life. And that's the beginning of our Western sphere. And this is uh, the beginning. Of, this is why Russia is our enemy. And because uh, some guy uh, at 1080 decided that he wanted to become God and replace God. And, of course, you, you had to get rid of the original Christian church and well, the original Christian church was in England and in uh, Russia, and so while well, they took care of England, we saw what they did to England with, with the uh, Battle of Hastings and the uh, Norman invasion, but they weren't so, so successful in Russia. And so Russia still remains uh, our, our enemy to this day. Although I am Eastern, I am Pan-Asian, uh, I use the we in terms of the, uh, the general sense of... Uh, <laughs> the, of the conversation not being specific to myself. Uh, that needs to be said because uh, some people don't follow. I don't know why they don't follow, but they don't follow. Anyway, so because you have uh, uh, Christmas in the Eastern Christian in January, the Pan-Asian Christmas in January, uh, on January 7th, 
that gives you an extra 13 days to celebrate Christmas. But don't stop right there because the original church, the original Christian church, still celebrated the 13 days of Christmas. And they still do. So that takes you to January 19th. And that is the baptism of the Lord. That is, that, that is what they call Fota. And, uh... Oh, well, why not uh, just throw in a couple extra, uh, a couple extra days and, and get y'all with it at the end of January. So there is no reason why you can't celebrate uh, Vlogmas all the way from December 1st to the end of January, giving you 60 days of Vlogmas for those of you who love Christmas. So don't take your decorations down until uh, January 30th. Near the, At the end of January, don't take, if you're a Christmas person, Celebrate both e both west and then east. Keep your lights up. Keep your trees up as long as you can. And then on February 1st, we begin still celebrating what people call Easter or Pascha. <laughs> that month is there to start celebrating Pascha, the Passover. And uh, so you can celebrate that just the way you celebrate Christmas. So it, it, it's as festive. It is the... The Eastern Church does not view death as a form of morbidity. It's not morbid. It is a, f a form of happiness. As a matter of fact, the when we talk about the death in the Eastern Church, we talk about makarizi, uh, makarios, and makarios literally trans actually translates into a form of happiness. So it is a happiness when you die, right? Not a sadness when you die. Uh, because you're going to rest in the Lord, you're going to sleep within the Lord, and then actually, the, 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 when uh, the saints and everyone, everyone they, they so-called died, uh, because the church doesn't have that term for it, they don't use the mor the mortis, mortis, they don't use the mortis, the the, the, the mortality, they use the the term chemesis, which chemesis means to sleep. And so what happens is you've got now a mix over between Vlogmas and uh, and uh, and all the way into into uh, into Passover. So we can do Vlogmas and then uh, and then we're going to do, make something up for for, for Pascha. We're going to do a vlog a daily vlogging for Pascha as well for the Passover. Uh, and because the Passover includes the Old Testament Passover, it includes both Passovers. Uh, the, the, it includes the, the Old Testament first and then after. The Old Testament Passover. There's the Christmas, the, the Christian Passover. That's what Christ uh, was crucified after Passover. So we can have a lot of fun with Vlogmas, and, uh, and for those of you who want Christmas for for an extra long time, well, here you go. Sixty days of Vlogmas, sixty days of Christmas. Enjoy yourself. All right. I will. <sighs> As I look around, I see there's snow on the ground. And this constitutes the loop oh, to an all weather ride. That's right, now we can do all seasons. I'm warm enough with uh, the balaclava that I have on. Hello. <laughs> I dealt with the engine jerks, uh, the accelerator, so that's pretty good. I'm not going to go that fast on the side streets. Some people are walking their dog. And now we've got Christmas lights. Yeah, it's Christmas season, so this constitutes in many ways a vlog, uh, a vlogmas ride because we have got Christmas lights now. 
<laughs> I should come out and do a, uh, a ride vlog seeing the lights around the neighborhood, but uh, uh, that's, not, that's for another time. start off. Uh, these are things are kind of important. The thing that when you're still learning how to control the bike, you don't want to go too fast in the side streets. So we're doing about uh, 20 kilometers an hour. This will be good enough for the bumps. Some more Christmas lights. balconies of uh, the apartment building to the left. There are Christmas lights in the balcony. You can reach them right now. More Christmas lights. Looks like we'll get a light. There's another car there, so it should. No, we're not gonna get it, so we can wipe our nose. I didn't put a new tissue in my uh, in my coat, so. What I have will have to do. No, there's nothing there. This is where we have to wait a little bit. The lights. here now. <clears throat> I 
not doing it right. I get something, someone come back. Cover from the other side. Oh, we got someone crossing. All right, so that's the end. Someone's gonna cross and oh, trip the lights in our, in our direction. Oh. pretty well. We're getting a consistent amount. At least once a week we're getting a ride vlog. And now in all weather. All seasons riding. As long as the road is dry doesn't matter what the temperature is, we can ride. bus beside me now, so that's going to be an interesting thing. video, the vlog, uh, for E.B. Rich was, uh, terrified of the drivers behind her. And I said, imagine if there was a bus behind you. <laughs> and there's one thing to be in a car, and another thing to be on a scooter. The size difference is significant. So, there is a bit of anxiety. When you have something big like that coming up on your back and behind you, <laughs> it's not necessarily a good feeling. But the more you get used to it, the more you, the more you do it, the, the the more you get used to it, and it uh, gets easier and easier. There's always the concern. You always have to have your attention on the road. Always have the, fo have the focus on the road. Not only what's in front of you, what's behind you. And this is why I don't use ear pods at all. 
I was going to put a hands-free device on my phone, but decided not to. And the very simple reason is I can't see what's behind me, but I can hear what's behind me. And I can use my sight, my, my, ear, my ear spell, or my ear sight, to determine what's going on and what's not going on. There's the bus. The buses do about 40 kilometers an hour. They don't do the full speed that I'm doing. You can, you can see how, how slow the bus uh, kind of went around. It. You know, drivers need to be careful. I mean, the bus drivers seem to be very good in terms of how they handle the road, how they share the road with other particularly smaller vehicles like myself. And I'm happy for that. Doing the full speed limit, so. but I will stay behind him. But I don't mind staying behind. The gloves are staying sufficiently warm. My fingers are sufficiently warm enough to stick to warm. But there's not really an issue, even though it's about uh, 30 degrees outside and there's a wind chill. There's a wind and so there's a wind chill factor. But I'm comfortable in terms of my temperature. And I think our vlogs on the scooter are getting more and more comfortable. I just have to be careful, careful not to become too comfortable and allow it to sort of uh, become a distraction. progressing faster than I, intend, that I anticipated. So, yay for that. You need to give a good distance before, uh, behind a bus or any vehicle because it, it is difficult starting off and some vehicles like the big buses and trucks roll backwards. See, he's not starting off that. Approximately 20 minutes, not even. 
the highest speed now, we're not, uh, we're, we're, uh, getting to my place faster. From point A to point B. wide. Again, it's, it's all about throttle control. Your turns and the, the radius in which you take your turns, particularly on a bike, depends on the throttle. throttle it depends on throttle control. You have to coast into the turn, and as you're leaning, then in some, somewhere about uh, 50% 50, 50 into three quarters, you have to uh, then start accelerating again. And we're back at my place. The dance school is operating. It's, com it's competition time, so. Anyways, that's it for now. We're back at my place.